so and departments and departmental store has several department what basis would you recommend for apportioning the following item of expenses to its department so first uh, expenses is fire insurance of building so fire insurance when there are two three four departments in the same building but which department is using maximum place that will be uh, cost higher so that should be as per the floor area basis of apportion should be floor area next rent again the part of rent is also depend on the floor area how much area you are using you are paying that much rent then part of delivery expenses delivery expenses depend how much weight is there what is the distance and how volume so depends on this any three nothing was given so we can mention this then purchase department expenses can also be distributed among number of purchase order or you can say value of purchase then credit department means the sales department it depends on the credit value of sales thereafter general administration expenses as per the works cost that has to be distributed as per works cost advertisement advertisement should be considered through sales advertising as sales assistant salary so if it is sales assistant salary if given actual we should follow it and not given then as per the time devoted by him to the organization then personal department depend on the number of employees and last one is sales commission as per basis of sales so this is how we need to solve the illustration while understanding the concept what to do with the overheads so first of all overheads needs to be uh, subdivided or basis should be clear now this is one illustration we can consider ahead to understand the further concept so illustration number 2 a factory has three production department p1 p2 and p3 production department where actual process of production is taken place and two service department s1 and s2 we need to understand this concept this service departments are not directly help in the production line but they are helping for the production departments but the here we are going doing a primary illustration primary problem so we are not think further we'll do it again the following overheads and other informations are extracted from the books of books for the month of january 2014 here the information is given expenses name of expenses is rent repairs depreciation lighting this is amount i am ignoring it right now expenses again supervision fire insurance for stock esi contribution power and this is your information now these all expenses needs to be apportioned or distribute okay but there are five department p1 p2 p3 s1 s2 so we need to understand while distributing rent we must know how much area is occupied by p1 p2 p3 s1 s2 so that information is also given over here so area in square feet p1 is using 400 square feet p2 is using 300 square feet p3 is using 270 square feet s1 is using 150 square feet and s2 is using 80 square feet this is how we can calculate the total area square feet 400 plus 300 700 plus 270 970 plus 150 1120 and plus 80 it should be 1200 so as per the information total area is 1200 and its rent is 6000 so for 1200 area square feet we have rent of 6000 you need to understand this concept for 1200 area we are spending 6000 rupees rent so we need to allocate this rent as per the usage of the area to p1 p2 p3 s1 and s2 i mentioned this as per yellow color coding this is service department but 
this is 400 300 270 150 and 80 that has to be distributed rain has to be distributed as per the area we need to understand the concept of rain and area is depend on the this one we'll understand the further things number of workers are given 54 plus 48 plus 36 plus 24 plus 18 so we can add up this all 24 plus 48 72 80 90 126 30 180 so total we uh, total number of workers are 180 so out of 180 54 are with P1, P48 with P2. So these are the workers working in this different, different departments. Now, wages, as per wage seat, we can understand that for P1, the total wages, this is a direct wages already paid 18,000, 15,000, 12,000, 9,000 and 6,000. So nine plus six is 15, 15 plus 50, 30, 42,000. 50 and 60,000. So total is 60,000. So 60,000 amount is there for workers. So we need to understand as per the indirect how much will be utilized. Here we need to understand one concept. P1, P2, P3. Three are, these are production departments. These are production department. Whereas S1 and S2 are service department. So, while considering the wages, this will be direct in case of production. But in case of service department, these two will consider as indirect labor and will mark over here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and plus 9. There will be 9 expenses because this wages is not being included over here and wages will be considered for service department only and this wage information for 60,000 can be utilized if uh, any basis will be there on wages then value of plant 72,054 48 and 6,000 so adding up this all will give us one information of total value of plant then stock value, value of stock is given 45, 27 and 18,000. In case of production department, there is no stock in service department. Horsepower of plant, so depend lighting or power fittings. So horsepower is given for all departments. So allocate or apportion the overheads among the various department on suitable basis. We need to understand which basis will be applied on which expenses for repairs repairs of plant and machinery so we need to understand the value of plant depreciation again of the machinery so it will be depend on the value of plant for lighting if nothing is given like a number of units it's horsepower is given but horsepower is utilized in case of power horsepower can be utilized in case of power but for lighting nothing is given we will utilize area which is area in square feet for supervision for supervision we require number of workers fire insurance of stock so depend on the value of stock and esi contribution employee state insurance corporation uh, contribution will depend upon how they are getting their remuneration okay so depends on and direct wages so this is how we can understand the concept okay so we need to understand uh, how it can be allocated now the next part is let's see the uh, solution how it can be presented first we need to understand the proportion and how we can calculate the ratio proportion of this all so this is one working for area we can see area so area square feet in the common zero or one so we can remove one 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 zero so it will be 40 is to 30 is to 27 is to 15 is to 8 so total will be 120 so out of 120 40 out of 120 30 so this is how we can calculate the ratio 
Then the number of workers is given 54, 48, 36, 24, and 18. So after dividing <coughs> to the uh, lowest number, we can get it that uh, 6, 6, 3 is 18, 6, 4 is 24, 6, 6 is 36, 6, 8 is 48, and 6, 9 is 54, 6, 9 is 54, 6, 8 is 48, 6, 6 is 36. 6, 4 is a 24, 6, 3 is a 18, and total of this is 30. Again, in case of wages, 18, 15, we can remove all three zeros and it will be 18, 6, 15, 12, 9, 6. So, three table will help us. 3, 2 is a 3, 3 is a 3, 4 is a 3, 5 is a and 3, 6 is a. Again, we are moving ahead. Value of plant, removing up uh, all three zeros and minimum. Minimum value is six. So six ones are six, six eight is a forty-eight, six nines are fifty-four, and six twelves are seventy-two. Then the stock value, value of stock removing zero and nines table, nine twos are nine threes are, and nine fives are. And last one is power as per horsepower, remove one 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 zero. And after that, five ones are five, five threes are fifteen, five six is a thirty, five eight is a forty, and five twelves are six hundred. This is how we can calculate the solution. So first part is we should understand the ratios in which we are going to apportion the overheads. So this is the primary distribution of overhead. First, we need to understand the wages which needs to be allocated, which is already given for service department S and service department S1 and S2. This is very important already been explained that in the information direct wages was given as per production department they are direct but as per service department they should be considered as indirect wages and when they are indirect wages has to be the part of overheads so hence this overheads considered service department wages for both the departments and not for production department so 9 plus 6 15000 should be mentioned over here, which was already given, allocated. Rent, rent, which is 6,000 as per total column, which have 6,000 paid, but payment is done for all five departments and the ratio of area utilized in square feet, 40, 30, 27, 15, 18. So we can calculate this. This is what how we calculate it. 6,000 multiplied by 40 divided by 120. The total of this all. So this is how we calculate the ratio. One divided by one twenty multiplied by forty. So this will be two thousand. Again, six thousand multiplied by thirty divided by one twenty, you will get one thousand five hundred. One thousand three fifty. Then seven fifty and four hundred. Now the repairs value of plant six thousand three hundred. That has to be multiplied with 6, uh, 3600 multiplied by 12 and divided by the total of which is of it repairs depend on the value of plants so 30 so 12 multiplied by 12 divided by 30 it will be 1440 again multiplied by 9 and divided by 30 1080 multiplied by 8 divided by 30 960 multiplied by 1 and divided by 30 it will be 120 this all should be done with the help of 3600 then as for depreciation we need to value on the basis of plant again 12 by 30 9 by 30 8 by 30 1 by 30 multiplied by 2700 so we'll get this for four departments then Lighting as per area and already areas ratio has been taken place over here. So uh, we can remove one zero because 6,000 rent was there and 600 lighting is there. Remove one zero, you will get the same answer over here. Then supervision, as per the supervision, number of workers uh, should be considered and 9,000 multiplied by nine by number of workers are 54 or something was there. Number of workers, 30. So 9 by 30, 
and again the power after getting this we calculate the total amount of overheads and calculate the uh, p1 p2 every uh, department's cost and it will be equal for everywhere this is how we can apportion first account allocation is there and this is how apportionment of that apportionment of overheads so overheads can be apportioned and allocated and uh, we can find out the value of um, any product or um, the production units with the help of overheads